All right, to begin with, we'll show you where the VIN number is located. On the right side of the tunnel, you'll notice it's stamped into there, and there is also a sticker that has the VIN number. Okay. Starting procedure, it does come with two keys. You'll also notice that there's a number on this key. If you simply write this number down, that gives you the ability to have another key made at a Yamaha dealership. Once the key's in this ignition, you turn it to the on position. Make sure that your kill switch is in the on position. You'll see that your gauge is lit up. You'll hear your fuel pump prime. You wait that long enough to hear your pump prime before you go ahead and hit the start. Simple car ignition type. You have a kill switch here. There's a parking brake located right here on the left side of the handlebar. Brake lever here. This is your high and low beam basically for your lights. This is basically your grip warmer control. This will be for your thumb warmer control. To check the oil, Zeus fasteners on all four points here, these get loosened up. There's a tab that hangs out right in here. In order to do this, you'll pick this cover up. and you'll simply pull it past there. You'll notice as it comes out, it's grooved where it sets into there and then slips in. To check your oil, oil reservoir is located right here. This is the sensor to let you know your oil level. You remove that clip. Simply, this is a threaded in dipstick. And then basically your oil level is checked right there. This will be the place that you'll add oil if you need to. In order to get to your coolant check, you can visually see the coolant tank here. To add to it, in your toolkit, there's an Allen that removes this top cover. Once this cover comes out, you can access the fill point to your coolant level. Suspension adjustments. On the bottom side of the track, this is your main suspension shock here. There's a preload adjustment on this collar. And on this end, there's a rebound adjuster with about 30 clicks of adjustment. On the front side of your shocks, you'll have a compression adjustment with adjustments here. There'll be a rebound adjuster here on the bottom. In your owner's manual, and I'll include a card that'll give you some guidelines for setting this up. Aside from that, if you ever have to access the basically the air cleaner assembly, this cover picks up and just pulls forward. Air box is located right under here. On the left side is where your drive belt assembly is going to be. The cover goes on and off the same way as the other side. And again, same cover comes off like that. Drive belt located right here. There's a pin that pulls out and then this cover just comes off. Like I said, clutch adjustment here. There is the tools in the toolkit that helps you pull this assembly off. And under the hood compartment, there was a thing basically, like I said, that you can put your, your spare belt. Okay, uh, aside from that, like I said, Fuel injection means that you just start them by turning the key on, letting it basically go to where it's supposed to set, to where it knows what temperature it's supposed to be at. You always wait until that tack runs up and goes through the level. Your first maintenance is going to be in, in about the 20 hour range and 600 miles basically. The owner's manual located right back here in this compartment. There'll be a chapter in here 
And this is where I'm going to give you that suspension adjustment card. But in chapter eight, it's going to give you a maintenance chart. And basically that's going to allow you for intervals of adjusting on what you need to be able to do. This is going to tell you everything when it needs to be checked and at what interval it's supposed to be done. The suspension adjustment card I'll include in on this. Your toolkit is located right here in this compartment. And last but not least is um, fuel. Basically remove this cap for your fuel. You almost suggest running 91 octane. And aside from that, um, enjoy your new sled.